Flowers in the Attic? By V.C. Andrews. Uh, yeah, I know who wrote it, you crumpet eating buffoon. Do you have it or not, Miss Blossom? Uh, the last time I read that book, I was with an old friend who I haven't seen in a very long time. I believe she must have it. Yes, Heather, wasn't it? Um, how did you know that? Oh, I'm very perceptive. Well, until you find it, or an exact copy of it, I'll need some collateral. Um, how about... Oh! That trunk! You can't have that. I'll take the trunk. Or you to the stocks. You know, we haven't spent much quality time together yet, but I should warn you, you're playing with fire. Would you burn all of us, Miss Blossom? No, just you. Indeed. Which is why my men have a very specific instruction if I get even the least bit flushed. Aim for her head. Take the damn trunk, but I have to empty it first. No, I'll take the trunk and its contents, but don't worry. We'll take very good care of your brother. Hey, Mom, what's up? Hey, honey, uh, do you remember that book, Small Engine Repairs, that you checked out of the library? You mean when I was 12? Vaguely. Mayor Pickens is collecting all overdue library books. He needs it back. It uh, might be in my room somewhere. No, I checked. It's not there. Well, you're going to need to find it, or at least an exact copy. I gave him your diary as collateral. You did what? Yeah, aren't you glad I didn't let you burn that last one? So, I am cooking yummy beef stroganoff for dinner. How's it? Well, you remember, Mr. Mantle. It's a workbook. One that teaches children with dyslexia how to read. Give me a sec. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Fifteen years after it was checked out, you actually still have it. Oh, I'm impressed, Mr. Mantle. <laughs> I've long suspected there's more than meets the eye with you. So what, do I have to pay a fine or something? Oh, no. We'll just leave the matter of your debt for another day. By nightfall, we realized that Percival and his goons had paid us all a visit. So I convened a meeting. 